Hi guys, uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to install the reshared uh, latest version of uh, reshared in the latest version of open rails 1.6. So if you install in the normal method reshared will not work in open rails 1.5 and 1.6 guys. So what you need to do is uh, install it in the manual method which I will show you now. So first uh, download the latest version of open rails guys in open rails.org if you have not already done. So go to the download uh, program section, click on download the installer, open rails uh, 1.6. So save it uh, in uh, whichever folder you want guys. So I already have saved it, open rails uh, setup exists, so I will just replace that. So now go to that uh, folder guys and uh, double click on open rails 1.6 setup. I am assuming you are not installed, so if you have already installed you can skip this step guys so click on yes ok I accept the license agreement next next and uh, install it in a folder like d colon uh, open rails 16 guys don't uh, install it inside program files uh, install it outside of program files in the d colon uh, open rails or the c colon open rails like that folder so I already installed it so it's saying it already exists so I won't install but you can continue here guys uh, next next and continue and install it guys. So once you have installed open rails you can download reshared latest version again go to reshared.me guys. So here uh, there will be a download link. Uh, reshared 6.6 .6 is the latest version as of the recording of this uh, video. So download this uh, guys. So once you download uh, reshared 6.6 uh, .6, I already downloaded. So again go to that folder guys reshared 6.6. .6. So now you if you just install reshared 6.6 .6 using the exe file it will not work guys. Uh, so that won't work in uh, open rails 1.5 and 1.6. So what you have got to do is uh, you have got to open it in uh, archiver program like 7zip. So if you are not installed 7zip just go to 7zip download. So download 7zip from 7zip.org guys download the latest version. Again save it in the downloads folder. I have already saved it so it is there. So once again go and install 7zip guys. Double click on 7zip.exe uh, install it wherever you want. So I have already installed it in 7zip uh, uh, in my system so I will ignore it but you click on install and uh, install it if you are not already guys. So once you have uh, installed 7zip so now go to the folder where uh, that open, uh, open rails uh, reshade you have downloaded guys. So now this reshade 6.6.exe latest version you have to open it with 7zip guys. So what you have to do is if you right click it you will just get open option and other options. So just uh, don't go to right click go to show more options guys if you are using windows 11 and then there will be 7zip open archive. So once you open it as archive you will get these files guys inside you will have some dll json files. So there is a file called reshade64.dll just extract this file guys so you can just put uh, control c control c here and go to the open rails installation folder and put control v guys or just dra drag and drop it control c won't work in uh, control c won't work in 7zip uh, so just uh, drag and drop that so once you dragged and dropped uh, reshade64.dll in uh, open rails 16 guys uh, this is the important step you have to rename this file as dxga.dll guys. So I already have that, I have already renamed it once so I will just delete that old uh, dxga but if you are not you just reshade 64.dll you just uh, rename it as dxga.dll guys. So just rename this is the most important part. And now guys uh, if you open rails, uh, if you open open rails 1.6 and uh, go to any activity and just you can just start it to test whether uh, reshade works. So once you have opened it should show the reshade uh, loading menu guys like that. Reshade 6.6.0 uh, is uh, open. So please press the home key or whichever key you have set guys. I have pr used uh, shift F2 but uh, by default it's home key. So pressing shift F2 you will get the reshade menu no as normal. So now I'll just pause the video guys and uh, tell you how to install the effects inside uh, uh, Reshade. So once you have loaded into open rails again quit it guys, uh, quit open rails. So now if you have not installed the effects here already, so you have to now get the effects from some other uh, Reshade installation guys. 
So if you have installed it in OpenRails 1.4 already, you can get the reshade shared as folder. This would have been installed by normal installation of uh, reshade case. So just copy that reshade shared, uh, shared as folder and uh, paste it into the OpenRails 1.6 uh, folder. So I'll just copy and paste it. I already installed it guys. So it's asking me whether to uh, skip or replace. If you are not already installed, uh, it will not. Uh, this uh, option won't come. So I'll just uh, put on replace the files just in case I have uh, installed it. So once you uh, made this folder, now you can also copy the reshared pre presets from your old uh, old OpenRails uh, installation reshared presets. So all the INI files reshared uh, dot INI and all the other resets you can just copy it guys it will be here so my reset Harry's uh, day preset Harry's night preset I'll just copy it so I can just put it in open rails 1.6 guys so you get the idea same I already installed it here I am uh, replacing it here so once you've done that once again you can launch open rails to, uh, to now uh, configure the path of these uh, effects because by default uh, it will not uh, look into uh, reset shaders folder so just put uh, shift F2 again and go to settings guys in reshed. Reshed settings like you'll f you'll find here uh, there is a startup preset uh, option is there folder and below that effect search path is there and uh, texture search path. So there you give the folder where you're given reshed shaders slash shaders slash star star. So that is the search path for the reshed shaders guys. So again in texture search path again give open rails 1.6 reshade shaders textures slash star star. So that's it guys that's how you have to install the reshade and uh, once again you can once you set those part you again quit open rails you can quit open rails and again restart it everything will work as uh, expected guys. So that's it guys uh, that's how you have to install the reshade in open rails 1.6 I hope this uh, tutorial was useful to you. If you found this uh, tutorial useful, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, support the channel guys. Uh, share this to everyone who might find this useful and I will see you in another video guys. Till then, uh, goodbye and have a great day.